Hey, this is Mike. Just want to show you this 2015 Chrysler 200 that we have on the lot. Now, the, the 2015 model is a totally redesigned vehicle inside and out. So, I just wanted to go over some of the features here. This one does have the projector headlights, LED accents here on the light. You can't really tell during the day, but um, at nighttime it looks pretty cool. The hood has more of a sporty design. The whole vehicle is kind of more sporty uh, compared to the previous Chrysler 200s. This one does have the 9-speed transmission. And does have a proximity key, which I'll show you in a second. Four-wheel disc brakes, aluminum wheels. Here's the back of the car. You kind of have like a more sporty look. And I'm going to go ahead and use the key to open up the trunk. It kind of lifts up there and then I grab it and lift it up the rest of the way. Really good sized trunk. You also can close, uh, fold down those back seats to have a little bit more space. This lifts up and it does have a spare tire, which some cars are not providing. Close that down. Now the car is locked, let me show you that it's locked, and I'm going to put the key in my pocket and just kind of demonstrate the proximity key. Like say you can lock it here, and you can unlock it just by putting your hands right here. That unlocks the door. Because you have to, the, the key is, it senses the proximity key in your pocket. It has to be within a few feet of the vehicle for that to happen. And it's only the driver door that does that. So let's start here in the back. We do have a water bottle holder there. Some cup, some uh, some pockets there, speaker. Here's the back seat, so this one has cloth. You do have the latch system for your car seats. This folds down, you've got some cup holders, storage space in there. You can access the trunk through that little door. You can lower the the back seats with this little strap here and that way you can put more stuff in the trunk it's just you have to make sure the seat belt is like so and that way it doesn't get jammed up behind the seat so the seat belt can be found you got like a little pocket there and you got little kangaroo type pockets there in the back of the front seats here's the window sticker that you can see is a 2015 limited 36 on the highway that's pretty good this one does have the 2.4 liter four-cylinder with a nine-speed transmission all right so here we go here's the inside of the front door and you see it has your regular door controls there windows side mirrors stuff like that you got a bottle holder, storage space. This one does have manual seats, manual adjustments on the seats. It does have automatic headlights. And the key's still in my pocket. So I'm gonna get in, put my foot on the brake, push this button, that starts it up. I'll turn the volume down a little bit. I'll turn the fan down a little bit so it doesn't interfere with the camera too much. It is a hot day, it's 90 degrees outside, but um, air conditioner is on, but I just don't want it to interfere, blow on the camera and it makes a sound, so it has been a problem in the past. But there's your headlight controls, your steering wheel, and you've got the gauges, which is a lot more sporty looking than the previous 200. And you've got that nice screen in the middle, and it says tachometer, speedometer, or I like to say speedometer, that's what it looks like it says. Um, so there you go, you got your digital temperature outside there, uh, digital compass. Right now we have 135 mile range. And this menu I can scroll through with these buttons here on the steering wheel, so you can see basically different information that it gives you. There's a digital speedometer, tire pressure, 
stuff like that. So usually the digital speedometer is the most useful. This vehicle has 16 miles on it. And it does have Bluetooth controls. Um, once you pair your cell phone, you can answer the phone by pushing this button here. The voice recognition button, you push that and you can say commands like tune to 96.5 or um, there's different commands depending on the, the different features of the vehicle. But uh, you can say call a certain person that's in your phone book on your phone and call them through your Bluetooth system. Cruise control settings are on this side. And on the back of the steering wheel, we have volume control. Back here is kind of hard to see, but you can feel it back there. While you're on the highway, you can do your volume. On the left side, you can change to the stations. And that's got a pretty good sound system. Really good sound and sound system. Let me turn the volume down. And you have this touch screen screen here, and you can tune, you know, like that. Um, audio, you can adjust your all your your loudness and um, bass and all that stuff there. Satellite radio. You can. There's some devices you can connect to it, which I'll show you in a second. Close that out. Um, don't want a pair of phone right now, but it does have that feature. Got a cool compass right there, climate control settings there, and uh, has some more features like your temperature and your clock settings and stuff like that. This now there is a larger screen available with more features. This is more basic model right here as far as the the radio. Here is your redundant button buttons basically because you can control it through the touch screen or you can adjust your your fan and your temperature here you have another volume button tune button you can turn your screen off if it's distracting you stuff like that um, traction control you can turn that off if you want front and rear defrosters you have your air conditioner now right there is your your electronic parking brake that's what that does and this is your shifter and before I go into that under here is a little, like a pretty cool storage space it's kind of I don't know if you can see that it's kind of like looks like a bridge I guess you can say but anyway and well we'll go into more detail there but your your shifter I'm gonna go ahead and put it in, change gears put it in neutral drive no the L stands for low and you push it in turn it to low some vehicles will have a S right there for sport, so you push it in, put it in a sport mode. Uh, L basically on a nine-speed transmission or an eight-speed, it will put you in a lower gear, depending on what speed you're in and what gear you're currently in. So that way, um, in case you're going down a hill and you need to, you know, use your engine to slow you down instead of your brakes, that's kind of what that's for. Now you have the storage space down here, and you have a storage space here, and it's connected by this little hole I guess you can say because you can put your cell phone or tablet or something down there run the wires through that hole and go to your USB or auxiliary input there and of course you have a storage space there as well and a power supply but this thing closes up and that's where your cup holders go and you got a place to put a pen or something this goes back so you get the idea Armrest is here. This lifts up and you got some more storage space. Now in here I found your force recognition guide um, quick tips. Basically and it kind of tells you what you can what you can say and what you, you know how they want you to say it so that way it's more productive use of your time when you're using it. Do you have a little light in there as well? Glove compartment is right there and it's huge it goes back like a mile it seems like do you have a place to little clip a little pin there auto dim rear view mirror is here you got some lights you turn them on there 
place to put your shades and there's rubberized on the inside instead of foam padding it does have like a rubber coating and this pops out and you can clean it and put it back in there's your visor it does have a mirror mirror no lights see what it looks like back here seats look pretty cool for being cloth and everything you got your dome light which you can push and turn on that's what I was trying to do with these but that's not how these work they, uh, they have a button here this little thing right here is for your this little hole is actually an infrared sensor in there that helps read the temperature for your climate control So let's take a look under the hood. Check out that 2.4 liter engine. 2.4 liter multi-air Tiger Shark, I believe it's called get some serious gas mileage with this 36 on the highway that's pretty amazing if you have an insulated battery to help it last longer and you can actually see some metal sometimes they just cover everything up with plastic but you do have some plastic but you actually see metal too so that's pretty cool Alrighty, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments or send me an email, which will be in the description. I'll see you next time.